Y'all ain't gonna believe this. I got to go down here about two blocks, he said. And on the right, there's a Walmart. I'm gonna pull up to the garden center and pick up an engine. Is that a Walmart? It looks like that might be a Walmart. It looks like Discount City. Huh. Maybe it was an old Walmart. I'm gonna pull up to the garden center. Look like there's a bunch of people down there at the garden center. But I'm supposed to pull up over there and pick up a motor. Can you believe this? You never heard no shit like this before, but guess what? I'm gonna go over here and try it. I'll let you know what they tell me here in a minute. Pick up a motor in the garden center. This is the old Walmart, yo. And it is now a Chevrolet. Parts. GMC park place. It's crazy. Look at that. Just parts everywhere. I was sure this was crazy. But anyway, I gotta go outside and wait on them. So we're going out to guard next. <laughs> Who wouldn't know? Okay, yo. We're sitting out here. We have the engine. There's the part number. Whatever you need there. And uh, yada 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 yada, and we are at an old Walmart. It's crazy to me, but we got it. I don't understand how we got it. But we got it. The uh, the dealership that we went to, the little tiny podunk dealership, had about four cars on the lot. Had about four cars on the lot, and uh, they claimed they had it. So I drove down here to it. It's not that far from the building, really. It's about uh, maybe 25, 30 miles south of the building. And uh, they claim they had it. I get down there, they said, well, we got it at a warehouse. Well, how the hell do they got a warehouse? They only got four cars on the lot. They got a warehouse. Oh, Walmart. Pretty big warehouse, too. You, you just seen that footage just a minute ago, but anyway, we got it. Now, uh, we're gonna head back. I think we are anyway. I can figure out how to get back. There's an old school about to, like the one me and Ronnie used to go to. That's an old one, though. Windows all busted up. Pretty old school. Blue windows in there. See the blue windows up there? Not yet. Too many cars coming too fast. And I don't want to throw that engine off the back. So Ronnie would be highly ticked if I slung that motor off the back of this thing. Trying to get out the damn road. But I tell you a little secret. The truck ain't got enough to do with it. Look at all that. All that's boarded up. It's crazy. Here's a little dealership. Chevrolet dealer right there. Raceway Chevrolet. So I got the turn right here. Yeah, that's a Raceway Chevrolet. I know there's a Raceway Ford right beside it, but we went to the Chevrolet dealer. That's that's the Ford dealer there. And there's a Chevrolet dealer right there. They only had about four cars, seriously. And uh, the four new ones, and the rest of them was uh, used or pre-owned, and they wasn't Chevrolets. A lot of them was Fords or Dodges or whatever. It was just on the Chevrolet dealer. But we're gonna get back to the building. I'll pull the box off this thing and look at it. Okay, y'all. Here's the box. It's got the engine. To open packages, remove four lag screws. From base to open package, remove for it. <laughs> Damn. I wonder if you're actually supposed to do that. One, two, three, four. This is uh, supposedly the motor. The What the question is, is, is the intake installed or is it not installed? That's what we're trying to figure out. 
Let me put you on a tripod. I happen to have mine today. See if I can get y'all on a tripod. Get you set up here where you can see. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna pull this thing apart. You probably don't wanna look at my Coke. Damn. Wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See if I can get y'all. Use the truck as a uh, tripod here. There you go. I get y'all close. If y'all don't fall off of there, let me go get my impact wrench and uh, we'll find something to fit in the boat. Impact wrench. What size bolt put in? Half inch, nine sixteenths. Half inch or nine sixteenths. I'm gonna say it's half inch, and we're gonna try that first. There's one lag. Two legs. We'll lay legs over there on the bag. Okay, we got the leg bolts out of them. All four legs over there, we're gonna put the tools up before we lose. I guess we gotta pick this big ass heavy ass box up now. What y'all didn't see, I threw a ratchet strap over the top of it to hold it down, and it didn't bend it. Intake is installed. What y'all think that is? I don't know neither. Get you up here and let you look at it. So there it is. Chevrolet Performance. Looks pretty good, don't it? Supposed to have all the breaking instructions and all that stuff in there. We need to uh, get that stuff out and look at it. There's the intake. We'll cover it back up so no dust or dirt or nothing is down in there. But that looks pretty good, y'all. <coughs> Or some stuff like that we're gonna have to switch over that is a fuel pump plate it's not in there um, this is gonna be uh, 350 long block sheet performance it is a Chevrolet performance we did buy it from Chevrolet um, there's a part number on it right there so you can look it all up, find out anything you want to know about it. But uh, let me uh, let me let's open this box and see what this is. I got a sneaky suspicion this has showed with an air cleaner. That might be the air cleaner. It's awful small and it's awful heavy to be an air cleaner. Got an awful good tape on it too. This is probably a gas kit. What I'm gonna guess. Huh. It's the air cleaner. Brand new air cleaner for it. Oh, y'all can see. Brand new air cleaner. What that is. Feels awful heavy though.
Yep. There's the wing nuts and all for the air filter. So that's the air filter for it. We'll take that and put it back over here. Okay, uh, there's some other stuff missing on it. They're not missing, just that we need to reuse. Torque converter is not here. The um, fuel pump mount, all that stuff is not here for it. The um, oil dipstick, or not the dipstick, the oil filler the thing for the oil filter the threads or nothing's in there so we're going to take it off the old one put it on there um they told me i was reading there was a block off for the uh yeah the, the dipstick area is there she told me there was a dipstick for two of them you can put dipstick on either side i believe that's what that is there and we're supposed to have a block off somewhere for that hmm i don't know don't look like there's nothing else in there so uh this is the only screw that I got with the whole thing. Okay, y'all. We got it off the crate. I'm switching over a few things. I put the, put the block off here. I put a block off here. I need another one for here and here. That's for the uh, distributor. That is for my oil, uh, oil sensor. There's another oil sensor that goes down here, but I didn't like the looks of it. It's over here. If you look right there is cracked. Right there is cracked. So I'm gonna put a new one in it while I got it out. We'll do that. I've got to uh, get this oil filter off of here. I got to get the oil filter base put on that one. Then I got to flip it over and flip this one over and get the uh, fuel fuel uh, pump rod and fuel pump cover. This one does not have it. This one has got a dipstick on either side, right there. It's on that side and there's another one on the other side. So uh, one of them is gonna have to be blocked off. If you wanna see what the GM number is on this one, it is a 166.038. Um, and it says GM. 5.7, I guess that's crate motor. And then around on the other side, there's a tag over there. Let me walk around there. Over here, there's a GM tag there, but it don't uh, it don't say anything, and you can't see nothing. But anyway, it's a pretty clean motor, pretty nice looking motor there. We, uh, I stopped at 10 auto parts stores today, trying to get that harmonic balancer and nobody's got it i'm not going to reuse that one i'm going to get one but it's probably going to be a day or two before i can get it but that's what we're doing we're just moving parts and pieces over from that one to this one i moved the uh engine mounts over i moved the flywheel over um stuff like that so i'm getting everything ready and then we'll set it back down in there here shortly Okay, y'all, here we go. I'm gonna put you in my tripod. I'm gonna try to set my tripod right here. That ain't gonna show you much, though. But anyway. Damn. What I'm going after is try to get these two bolts in. These two bolts mounting the engine. Goes in that. That mount and this mount, that's what I'm going to try to get in here. And they're on the sides there. So I'm going to lay it down in here. I ain't going to worry about the transmission. We know that transmission mount's broke, so we know it's going to move around a little bit on us. 
So with that being said, we should have enough room to slide that transmission, that transmission slide back out of the way for you. Let's jack it up and see what we can do. See, this is where the second person would be handy. Okay, y'all. You see, I got it just dangling in the air there. Basically, I got to get it turned here. And while we're here, I took this wire and I wired all that electrical stuff up out of the way of that bell housing down there. So nothing gets hung up down there. But we're fixing to set this motor in and bolt it down. Let's watch. Watch and see what happens here. About right there, I need to come down about another two foot. Come on down, son. Whoa, hoss. Don't do me like that. Come over here. Let's see what she does here. Uh huh. She gonna cradle right down in there. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, y'all. 
just ease her on down in the hole. She getting extremely close. this one work. Mm-hmm. She's getting close. She's getting real close. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, I'm gonna have to hold this bar and twist this motor and drop her on down. Ooh, did you see that, y'all? Did y'all see that thing? It just went flip. I think one might be in there. Gonna put this one in, but we're gonna hope we are. Oh yeah. There's one side, y'all. See there? There's one side. See the bolt down there? It's in it. She ready to go. She ready for the other side. Let's see what we got to do to make that happen. So let's make it happen, Jack. Here we go. I think we just got to come down about uh, three inches. Whoa. Whoa, house. Okay, y'all. It said my storage is full, but. Okay, y'all. It kind of cut off on me, but we got that bolt in. I've got two. I got two bolts on this side in the transmission. I got two bolts on that side in the transmission. So that's it, putting it in there. On the next one, you'll see us bolt all this stuff together and uh, start putting on the accessories. See what kind of goodies we got for it. But if you like what you see here, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up for filming it, and we'll catch you on the next one.